Keep me where the light is Keep me where the light is My name is Joseph Solomon and this is my version of one of my favorite artists, John Mayer, Gravity. It's working against me. I chose Gravity, and I hope John Mayer sees this. <laughs> For two reasons. One, I think it's, you know, it's such a beautifully written song, but I love how simple it is. It doesn't have a whole lot of words, especially the hook. And it's almost like a yell. Gravity. It's like this exhale. It's... It's working against it's working against me. And I, I I so relate to that of like not just I mean, obviously physically and metaphorically, like the weight of life. Obviously, gravity is what's pulling us down and making us age and grow, us going through the literal like weight of uh of the physical force of gravity, but then also just life, like it really weighs on you and it's trying to bring you down in this this resistance against this force on your body. Uh, and on your soul and on your mind, I so relate with that. He was an inspiration to me as a as a singer and as a songwriter. When I come from a spoken word poetry world, and I just love lyrics. I love good lyrics. Doesn't matter what genre it is: rock, pop, rap, R and B, folk, Americana. It doesn't matter. I'm just drawn to good melodies and good lyrics, and interesting lyrics that tell a story, uh, that take you somewhere. And I feel like a lot of his songs just take you on a journey. Um, creatively, they're so profound, oftentimes, but very simple in how they bring across that. I feel like I know there had to be a first time I heard Gravity, but I feel like it's one of those songs like it's always been part of my life. Uh, I only remember growing more fond of it. Gravity just took on more f flavors to me, the different seasons that I've gone through, whether it be romantically, existentially spiritually like i can remember different seasons where that song took on new life and then and then there's another life that a song takes on when you learn to play it yourself you have a tactile um relationship to the song now you know for, versus just hearing it for audibly now you learn it and now the song was always yours. When you write, when an artist puts a song out to the public, it no longer belongs to them. It belongs to the listener. And they come up with whatever interpretation they want for it. And then there's another level of ownership that the listener takes on when they learn it themselves. And they know where the chords go, where the, what key it's in. You, and you get to see in your mind and in your fingers why this song makes you feel this way because of the different chord changes and odd kind of you know these different these different chords that it plays it, it you you now understand visually and and te you know and, and in texture where this song is taking you versus just audibly so and that was new for me too just a few years ago that I learned gravity for the first time now I need to learn the guitar solo and I can feel like I'll yeah there's so much more to learn about it and to become more intimate with that song Keep me where the light is. Keep me where the light is. Gravity is working against me. Gravity. Wants to bring me down. Oh, I'll never know what makes this man with all the love that his heart can stand. Dream of ways to throw it all away. Is working against me. And gravity it wants to bring me down. Oh, twice as much ain't twice as good. 
can't sustain Like one half could It's one and more It's gonna send me to my knees Oh, oh gravity Stay the hell away from me It's taking better men than me Tell me how can that be Just keep me where the light is mm-hmm. Keep me where the light is Come on, keep me where the light is Ooh. Keep me where the light is